Okay, so let's take a look at A15, and I'm gonna show you some code, and I'm even gonna give you some starter code uh, to play around with, but we are going to create a ATM, and this is my code for that. It seems longer than it is, but it's not really that complicated, okay? So I've got a bank account class. So we're taking the ATM assignment. We're going object oriented with it. I've got a generic bank account. It has a name, a balance, <coughs> as well as methods for withdraw, deposit, and check balance. And does all those things. It does what we talked about before, where it checks to make sure you have a balance before you make, make a withdrawal, all that stuff. I have a savings account class, which is based on bank account, and I have a checking account class, which is based on banking account. So if I run this, and I've got a basic menu structure, but if I run this, <coughs> you can see, creates a savings account, creates a checking account. I start off with some defaults, so I don't have to enter those every time. And so if I check the balance of my accounts, there's that. And if I want to deposit money, let's deposit it into, oops, deposit money, one. Deposit money, hit enter. Which account? I'm gonna go on one, how much? $1,000, you deposited $1,000 into main savings. And let's see, let's check our balances now. There we go, we're looking good. Hit enter. Okay, so now if I want to, I can deposit money, I can withdraw, I can write a check. Now, we don't really write checks nowadays. That's sort of like a figment of the past. Checks are kind of antique. I think I write about two checks a year to, to a couple of random places. The rest of the time, I just have my bank send it. But when you write a check, in case you're not familiar, each check has a little number in the upper, upper right-hand corner. That's the check number right? And they're sequentially numbered. So you start at 1,000, you go 1,001, 1,002, etc. So that you can keep track of, like, I know I wrote check 1,002 to Bakersfield Swim Club or whatever. And uh, then I can keep track of it in my, in my checkbook. And I know like which ones have been cashed or whatever. So check, a checking account has to have the check numbers and it has to have the ability to write a check, but a savings account doesn't have that ability. So I have to differentiate. I have to create these subclasses with a little bit of, I take the inherited aspects, but I'm also to the checking account, I'm gonna add the ability to write a check. So if I wanna write a check, I hit three, which one, obviously the checking account, and how much is the check for, $200. Okay, and then it says, you have written check number 1,000 for $200 from main checking. So far, so good. Let's deposit some money. And I'm going to put it into the checking account. $1,000 into main checking. So I've written check 1,000. And so if I want to write a check again from checking for $800, Okay, so now it's check 1001 for $800 for main checking. And if I check the balance, there we go. It has the correct balances and everything, all formatted nicely. That's all wonderful. That's doing everything I wanted to. So if we look at this, right, um, here's the code that I'm going to give you in just a minute. I'm gonna put this on Canvas. I'm gonna give you all of the code for the base class of bank account. I'm also going to give you the code for savings account. Okay, savings account. And it shows you the proper language for initializing the sub account in case you can't remember how that initialization looks. And it says you've created savings account, yada, yada, yada. So now, in the checking account subclass, you're gonna to have to create the initialization and also the right check. Now remember, in the initialization, 
you need to give it a check number. You need a check number so that you can, when you write a check, that will increment by one. So the rest of these functions that I'm going to show you are not part of the classes, but I'm going to show them to you anyway. Sleep clear is just a function that says pause for about a half a second and then clear the screen. That's all that does. Main menu shows the main menu. Easy enough, simple enough. Show accounts. We'll cycle through the accounts and show the show all of the account information. And then press enter literally just says press enter to continue and they press enter and then it clears the screen create a new account kind of does what it says you can see here it starts each account with fifty dollars in it by default you can change any of these by the way and then make accounts or make deposit shows takes care of the deposit routine and then you can see I create the list of accounts and I add a couple of accounts to start with. And here is the main program here. Okay. So these are the places where we're doing the things. Deposit, check, withdrawal, check balances. So most of this is done. This is where I want you to focus your energy. And the reason I'm giving you the whole program except for that part is because that's the lesson for today. I want you to, to, to figure out how to implement a subclass within a structure that will actually work. And so this is the exact code that I just demoed for you, but without this part filled in. So you're gonna fill that in, and if you do it correctly, it will work just the way the rest of it did. Like I said, feel free to change any other aspect of the code, but in order to complete the assignment, all you need to do is complete this part.